SummerSlam 2023, what can I say? It was amazing. Except the Battle Royale. I didn't like that. I didn't find the point of it. And this is the first thing I'm gonna talk about. The Battle Royale. The Slim Jim Battle Royale is the first thing I want to talk about in this video. And I want to ask, why did we have this? Why should we have this? Why Austin Theory was in this? What is the point of winning this? Why LA Knight won this? There are so many questions and frustrations. I guess the only okay thing was that LA Knight won it. But after that, what? Does that give any momentum to LA Knight? Does that mean something? And to be fair, Battle Royales suck this man. It's not like the Royal Rumble where you have one contender every 90 seconds or two minutes, whatever. You have all the people at once and you cannot really see what is happening at all times until the last three standing. AJ Styles, Sheamus and LA Knight were the last in the ring and the only thing that was going through my head was please AJ don't win this. You don't need it. Please AJ. And thank God Karrion Cross got him out. And after that Sheamus got out and LA Knight won it. And I guess it was the right call but why? Why did we have this? And I don't understand why I need to do a rant about this. But on the positive side of things this was the only meh thing about the whole event, hear me out. MMA rules match Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler. It was amazing. We have, as Triple H said, the new baddest woman on the planet in Shayna Baszler. At some point of the match, you thought that the match is gonna get cancelled uh, because a medical team came up to check on Shayna. But after that, Ronda was like, come on, Shayna! And she started uh, talking smack on Shayna, and Shayna was like, oh, now we're gonna do it. And uh, she basically, they exchanged a couple of blows, and Shayna, after that, tapped out Ronda. And it was amazing. And my prediction was right, and Shayna won. Ricochet versus Logan Paul. It was the best possible opener to the show. It was super great match. I don't know how to say that in a better way. I was super satisfied with that match. Ricochet did great, Logan did great, but I was not satisfied with one thing, how the match ended. The ending was a little bit of a flop, I'm not gonna lie. Logan Paul won by his manager putting a brass knuckles on his hand while the referee was not looking and after that Logan uh, of course hit Ricochet with that brass knuckles and won and I don't understand why Logan needs the victory I think Ricochet would have benefited more with that W but it is what it is great match nonetheless after that Intercontinental Championship Gunther vs Drew McIntyre it was a good match but the ending was a flop as well you cannot have such a heavy exchange of blows the whole time and after that they're on the top rope, basically Gunther pushed McIntyre and the top rope goes in his weak zone. <laughs> After that, one power bomb, one lariat and Gunther won. I don't understand how everything ended so quickly, but it did. Gunther retained. As I told you guys, my prediction was right. Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar was a match that I was really satisfied about. Everything about that match was great. Cody was weak the whole time. Brock was dominating, but at the end Cody found his way to win. Turnbuckle was exposed. Cody pushed the Brock into the turnbuckle a little bit like their first match, but it was a nice match overall. I really liked it. At the end Brock uh, handshake Cody, hooked hold Cody, hand raised Cody and it was a really good feel good moment type of match I was really satisfied and as I predicted I'm not saying anything but Cody won and my prediction was true. WWE Women's Championship Asuka, Charlotte and Bianca Belair had a blast of a match and 
To be fair, I was really satisfied with my with that match. I don't know what to tell you. It was really good match the whole time, the whole energy, but everything started rolling after Bianca injured her knee. She was getting escorted to the back. So that and basically that meant that only Asuka and Charlotte was left in the match, but she saw an opportunity, went back into the ring with that injured knee. I don't know if the knee is injured or it's a kayfabe, I'm not sure, but either way, I hope she's fine. She went, on, she saw an opportunity, she went in, she couldn't pick the W, but after that Charlotte locked her knee in the figure eight. We all think, thought that, we all thought that uh, Bianca is gonna tap out, but then Asuka with the mist hit Charlotte and then tried to pin Bianca when she's in the weakest spot, but Bianca reversed and won. And I was like, out of three, I didn't expect that I would be so happy to see Bianca winning. But then, Genius in the Bank came out. I totally forgot about her, man. And I was so happy that first Bianca won, and after that, EU Sky won because we all knew that Bianca cannot handle the things with her knee and it made perfect sense for you to come out to get that W, to get that championship and it was 5 out, five out of 5. My prediction here was totally not true but I was satisfied and I was happy for Bianca, for EO, for me. WWE World Heavyweight Championship match Seth Rollins vs Finn Balor It was the ending I am satisfied with Again, I, the whole SummerSlam was a really good thing For me at least Everything was great between the Seth and Finn Balor At some point of the match you thought that maybe Finn Balor is gonna win Especially when Judgment Day came out Prior to this match I thought that there is no way they play out Set winning and Judgment Day not falling apart or Finn winning and Judgment Day not falling apart and Set looking good. I didn't know how they'll figure it out, but everything was perfect because Set won, Judgment Day is intact, kind of. Yes, it looked like Damian Priest helped Set win, but we don't know that for sure, so Judgment Day is intact. Set is still a champion. I don't know if we're gonna have a third match between Set and Finn, but we're gonna see. I'm happy with what they did. I'm happy to see what the future holds for Damien. Let's move forward to the last match, to the main event. Jey Uso versus Roman Reigns tribal combat for the World Undisputed Championship. What a match, man. As I said, I couldn't believe that Jay is a worthy contender. I said in previous videos, I think he's a world championship material, no doubt about it. But it's not a believable story, man. I, I, but throughout the match, you see that Jay had those moments when he was spearing Roman or he was chair shotting him or he was breaking tables with him and all of those stuff. And you kind of start to believe. But the end, the end happened. And I was shocked because. Believe it or not, I was thinking about what if Jimmy comes back and he turns on Jay? What if, man? What if? But I thought it was crazy idea, man. And whenever I was watching that match with my girlfriend, we were both shocked. And I was like, would you believe me if I tell you that I actually thought about this scenario? And she was like, no way you thought. But I did. I, I literally thought that Jimmy will come back and he's gonna sabotage Jay but the difference between my theory and what happened Jimmy motives were obviously personal but I thought uh, that the whole thing was planned out against Jay the whole three years were planned out and everything unfolds right now I think about I thought about this scenario I'm okay with that finish of the match but my girlfriend brought a valid point. Did Roman Reigns had a clean victory for the past three years? Because I don't remember any of it. I don't remember even one clean victory, to be fair with you. But I guess that's the way Roman rolls. And this is what we're gonna watch. And this is what we're gonna enjoy.
Paul Heyman on the press conference said we are at the bottom of the third part and I don't know how many parts there are to the Bloodline storyline, to the Roman Reigns story, to everything, but I told you, this is not gonna be the end. I told you what could be the end. But this is just a theory, Angelo's theory. Thank you so much for watching, leave your comments down below to to say if your predictions were right, are you satisfied with SummerSlam in general, and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you for all in a few days. Peace.